Hey everyone, this is Frosty, and today I'm going to be discussing a few things with you, including the iPod Nano first generation replacement program. Um, we're going to go over a little bit of Skyrim and my impressions of it. As well, we're going to look at the Harold and Kumar review, because I actually went to go see that on the weekend in 3D, of course. So let's go ahead. We're going to start off with the iPod Nano first generation replacement program. Whew, that is a long. Here's my iPod Nano. Yep. This is getting replaced by Apple. I got an email today. I don't really use any Apple products at all. This was the last thing I bought and it really crapped out on me. It doesn't even start anymore. It has music on it and it was just terrible. But I got an email today saying that they're going to replace it for free and give me a new one because the batteries in them have actually shown to basically get overheated and they're dangerous and that happens more with age and this thing's like five years old. I don't really ever use it but it would be nice to have a free iPod so that's what I'm going to be getting for Christmas from Apple. Um, they've sent me a box that they're going to ship to me and then I have to send this in and then of course they're going to send me the new one. I already uh, did all the technical stuff on the Apple site that I had to do which I am just so excited for. Like this is the last Apple product I bought. I don't buy any Apple products so to get a free Apple Nano. It'll probably be a newer one, I assume, because they're not going to give you the same old ones with the crap batteries in them. Um, so that is one thing I am uber excited about. I really like this one. This is like my favorite generation, though. I love the size of it, and it's black. It's like my favorite color, of course. And it has the silver background, so I'm kind of sad to see all this little iPod go going in the mail. going to get updated, but it doesn't really work anyway, so that's good. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and move on to Skyrim. So I've been playing Skyrim. What level am I? I think I'm level 8 right now. I am playing the Wood Elf. I am a big archer, so I've put all my skill points into archery and I do tons of damage, which is amazing. The one thing I could use a little bit more of in the game is some color. Oh, I feel like it's never day in Skyrim. It's always raining. It's always those muted colors. The only nice colors I ever get to see is like potions and um, diamonds and stuff like that and gems. Um, so I could really use a little more color in the game, but besides that, it is, of course, a really great game. I have had a few issues with it as well. Like, I have a follower, and then it gets stuck on nothing. She's just standing there, stuck, and I have to, like, use my shout to make her move or something. So that was one of the bugs that I also found. Plus, I bought a horse. Of course, I'm going to buy a horse. Um, so I bought a horse for a thousand gold, and it's so terrible because I was scared at first if my horse would die. Because if I fight anything, um, they're going after the horse. I fought a dragon, and the dragon was going after my horse. My, my horse was on fire, for goodness sakes. Um, so I feel like that's, in a way, kind of a bug as well. I'm not sure if it is if they want. Well, I guess it's pretty okay. You know, go after the horse. Let me not take any damage. That's fine with me. Um, but those are a couple impressions of my Skyrim so far. It is, of course, a great game, and I've really been having a lot of fun with it lately. Now, moving on to the last step of our conversation, uh, we're going to go over some Harold and Kumar. If you guys haven't seen any Harold and Kumar movies, they might not be for you, <laughs> but they are for the few select of us that are special. So let's go ahead and d dig into some Harold and Kumar. Now, the first two movies were pretty good. Now, this movie, the first half was good, the second half was absolutely terrible. Um, but they always bring you back to their traditional Harold and Kumar, and the 3D was really like extravagant, unnecessary, but kind of funny in some ways, um, especially in the beginning. Beginning half was amazing, and the second half was terrible, because in the second half you're just like, towards the end they're really making it about a Christmas movie, and I'm just like, I didn't come here for a Christmas movie, I came here because it's Harold and Kumar, you know? And I thought that was really weird. There's like, oh, Christmas, Christmas. And I was like, no, Christmas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the 3D effects were pretty hilarious. Um, uh, there was this one scene where I can't remember the actor's name, but he gets pelleted with like tons of eggs, and that scene was just amazing. Um, the 3D effects, and it was just so hilarious. There's always. Um, there's always some good hilarity in Harold and Kumar, and I loved it. I loved the first half. I didn't like the second half, but I'm really did. I'm glad I saw it. I kind of hope there's another one. And Kumar has gone back into the White House to work, so hopefully he's drug free. Anyways, I think that's all we're going to be discussing today. If you guys want to discuss anything with me, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all very soon.